In this video, we'll run through some ways of classifying differential equations. Every differential equation is ordinary or partial. If you've got an ordinary differential equation, which is abbreviated ODE, you have got a differential equation with a single independent variable. So, for example, we have looked at this a few times. Our independent variable here is a time. There is only one independent variable as opposed to a partial differential equation abbreviated PDE, where you have multiple independent variables. And the word partial here, of course, comes from the fact that if you have multiple independent variables, you need to take partial derivatives. And probably the prototypical example of this is if you have a long rod heated at its ends. So we think of this rod as being one dimensional. We've got heat being applied at the ends. And we're looking at a temperature function. And if you want to study the temperature, you need to keep track of where you are on the rod. Because of course, if you're near the heat, you're heating up faster than if you're in the middle. So you need to keep track of location. And of course, the temperature is changing with time as the rod heats up. So you need to keep track of time as well. And you have these two variables. And it turns out that the partial derivative of u with respect to t is a constant k times the second partial derivative of u 
with respect to X. Having introduced this classification, we now go on to say that in this class, we are only going to look at ordinary differential equations. So you should know on a very general level what the partial differential equation is, but we're not going to study partial differential equations. That's something that's usually reserved for graduate classes. Another way we classify differential equations is by order. And the order of a differential equation, remember, ordinary differential equation is the highest. order derivative that appears in the differential equation. So maybe we're trying to study some function x of t, and we are told that it satisfies the differential equation x double prime, the second derivative of x plus x times the sine of x x t equals the cosine of t. This differential equation looks like kind of a nightmare. I have no idea how you would solve such a thing, but I can tell you its order. The second derivative appears, and that's the highest order derivative that appears. There are no third derivatives or fourth derivatives or anything of that sort. So this differential equation is a second order. If we had maybe a third derivative plus twice the second derivative plus x raised to the 50th power equals a t. This is third order. You've got a third derivative and a second derivative. Don't get confused. This isn't a derivative. It's just something being raised to a power. 
So of the derivatives you have, three is the highest order that appears. We'll provide one last way of classifying differential equations. as either linear or non-linear. Definition. A linear differential equation has the following form. So here we'll let y be a function of x and the differential equation that this satisfies is a function of x times the nth derivative of y plus another function of x times the n minus first derivative of y plus another function of x times the n minus second derivative of y and so on down the line until our very last term where we just have y, no derivative. And this equals a function of x. And then a differential equation is nonlinear if it does not have this form. Most differential equations are nonlinear. I mean, this is this is a very specialized way for a differential equation to look. Nevertheless, we are going to spend a lot of time on linear differential equations, pretty much all of chapter three and chapter five. And in as much as practically no real world um, differential equation is going to be linear, that might seem like a heck of a thing to do. What we're going to see in the tail end of this course is that we can use linear differential equations as a tool for studying nonlinear differential equations. So that's why we're going to be so interested in them.